have done a TV vlog style webcam video with the YouTube browser edition. But I've decided I'm going to do a TV log on 100 things to do before high school. Hope you enjoy this. So, the, the year 2015, pre that, there's only one good kids live action sitcom, in my opinion, at that time. Girl Meets World. And then, well, and now let's look at one half of it. The Nickelodeon side. Nickelodeon has The Thundermans, which is a Wizard of Waverly Place ripoff. Henry Danger, which is a Dan Schneider. Nicky Ricky Dicky and Don, which is a Liv and Maddie ripoff. And Bella and the Bulldogs, which is stupid. Then 100 Things to Do Before High School came. Oh my goodness, is this show good. It is probably the first glimpse of probably a new age of quality for Nick. In fact, I'd grade it um, out of the 2010 so far TV movie-wise, I'd easily call it the best. I mean, think about it. What What's its competition? Fairly odd movies, jinxed, stuff like that. Crap. So, let me tell you. So, who is the creator of this? Scott Fellows. An amazing guy, but to put it into context, he hasn't been doing a good streak lately. His first show was a huge hit, in my opinion, and it was one of my favorite live action shows of all time. Ned's The Classified School Survival Guide. And then followed his decision to work on Johnny Tess. Yes, he worked on Johnny Test. And Big Time Rush. Now, so what's the premise of this show? It's a middle school um, kind of a show. It's a lot like Ned's The Classified in a way, like it's at middle school. It's in a middle school. And, so, but there's more, even better stuff with this show than the others. In the premise, it's, it's a lot like Ned's The Classified. Well, first of all, there's no fourth wall, no laugh track, and most of all, it's extremely cartoony. Yes, I love shows like that. So, who are the characters in this amazing show? We have the main girl, CJ, I believe, or I don't really know the names yet because I'm only two episodes in because there's only two episodes. And then Fenwick, her brainy best friend, and her, like, dumb blonde best friend. The characters are phenomenally written and do give me a, and just give a different vibe than any of the other Nick shows. None of them are jerks. None of them are. None of them betray each other and stuff. None of them mo make fun of each other. They are honest friends. Which I think is one of the show's biggest strengths. It plays up the friends and stuff to a T. And it matches that perfectly. So, but aside from that, there is a guidance counselor in it who is kind of like the Gordy of the, this series. Fans of Ned's The Classified will know what I mean on a lot of this. And... Oh my goodness, do you know who they got to play him? They got the voice actor of Sokka to play him. Sokka from Avatar The Last Airbender. And he is phenomenal in this. Also, CJ, the CJ, I believe, family is in it too. It's not one of those shows that exclusively features a group of friends. I didn't do it. Um, or Ant Farm. Or like that, pretty much, as the main cast. This is a show that has two sets of casts, but merges them all into one episode geniusly. The dad isn't is a bit dumb, but it's very acceptable with this. The mom isn't one of those over overprotective idiot moms and naturally knows what she's talking about. And one of the biggest praises I'll say is for the brother. Nickel Scott Fellows, you got this completely right. The older brother helps out 
CJ a lot and stuff. And I actually really, really enjoy the show because of all these factors. The humor, decent. Yep, decent is all right. Um, not the funniest show, uh, funniest show on Nick. But, um, if you like Ned's The Classified Humor, you're, you'll like this. But, one of the biggest things with The 100 Things to Do Before High School is it constantly is referencing Ned's The Classified. And when I say constantly, I mean constantly. Like, in the Running with the Bull Bears episode, they referenced the hall pass joke phenomenally. So overall, oh, so the tone of the show I'll take out too. Here, they have no laugh track. They they play things comedically. Now it's a little more serious than Ned's and stuff. Like it's a little more toned down, and it's a thirty-minute episode, which I think eleven minutes works good for Ned's, but. 30, I would think both formats would work well for this. So, tell me what you think in the comments. Subscribe, like, I will be adding this to regular coverage, possibly. Well, until next time, thank you for watching the Entertainment Lord Super Channel.